I'm Jacqueline Beavis. Thanks for sticking with us through golf. Let's get started on what's making headlines. Warmer weather and crime. It's one of the downsides to the switch in season. No matter what the cause, crime rates typically go up during the warmer months. It's a trend across the nation and matched right here at home. News 10's Lindsay Yates takes a look at why and most importantly, how to avoid falling victim to summer crimes. The beginning of summer means relaxation, family vacations, and lots of spare time. But not everyone out enjoying the warm temperatures has the best intentions. We do see an increase in, in uh, outdoor theft through the summer. Uh, people bring a lot of their property that's uh, been stored for the wintertime outdoors. From burglaries to vandalism, the sizzling sun can bring together potential wrongdoers, victims, and belongings all in the same place. Uh, vandalisms are up, thefts are up. Uh, our assault and batteries tend to rise through, through the summertime. Uh, we feel that that's because uh, there are, a lot of those are crimes of opportunity. Crimes of opportunity that can be made available through social media. Updating your status may seem harmless, but you could be tipping off thieves. We encourage people to call in to the sheriff's department and ask for extra patrol of their neighborhood or their, or their particular home if they're going to be out of town. We, we would also ask that they not put it on social media. While law enforcement will do their part. We increase our patrol, especially out in the rural area and uh, keep an eye on folks. They also ask you to keep your eyes peeled. Houses are left even in, more insecure throughout the summertime months. Windows are up, screens are, screens are uh, uh, open. So a lot of times we'll have uh, homes that are burglarized just because it's a little easier access. Cottom also suggests not leaving personal belongings outside, making the items easy to snatch. In Vigo County, with photojournalist David Essex, I'm Lindsay Yates, News 10.